Okay, so today I am doing a tutorial. <laughs> so I'm starting off with the Origins Ginseng Moisturiser, which is really, really nice. Um, nice orangey, ginger scented moisturiser. Then I'm taking a mix of 55 and 53 in the Healthy Mix Serum Foundation. And I'm just dotting this onto my face after I've mixed the two together and then blending them with my absolute favourite way to blend foundation, I'm blending it with a beauty blender. And I'm just using a dab in motion to sort of stipple the product in nice and blended. <laughs> oh I've just dropped my phone. So yeah just blending with the bottom of the beauty blender. Forehead, and the hairline. La 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 la. <laughs> Next, I'm going in with the collection concealer and any blemishes, and then I'm taking the Maybelline Eraser Under Eye Concealer for the under eye area. My favourite concealers ever. Both really affordable. It's amazing how much that collection concealer covers everything. So I'd highly recommend it. I go through them really quick. So yeah, then we're putting the Maybelline one under the eyes. I'm running out of that actually, I think I need to get a new one. And then using my beauty blender again, I'm gonna blend all that product in. I think you're gonna be able to hear my washer, which is not good. I use the pointed end of the beauty blender to get into the more smaller areas of my face like under my eyes so then I'm going to set the under eye area as always with a mix of the Ben Nye banana powder and the Ben Nye super white the super white just lines up a little bit because the banana is a bit too dark for me because I'm really really fair even with layers and layers of fake tan I still look like a porcelain ghost so yep then I'm going to use this up and going one heck of a blot translucent powder and this Bare Minerals Flawless Face Brush. I love the Bare Minerals brushes because they blend product and apply product really nice because they're natural hair, so they're really, really soft. Then I'm gonna use MAC Give Me Some Bronzer with another Bare Minerals brush. Again, really good for just blending bronzer and making it a really soft line. I also love this bronzer, it's a really nice warm brown. Then I'm going to take the Too Faced Chocolate Soleil bronzer and I'm going to use the Zoeva what brush is that? It's like an angled contour brush. I'll link everything in the down bar anyway. And I'm going to use that brush to blend a bit of a more defined contour along the cheekbones. Just a little bit more definition. Then I'm going to take Becca's Moonstone Highlight and a Zoeva Lux Highlight brush and just pop that on the tops of my cheekbones down the nose etc so I've not filmed my eyebrows because I have a separate eyebrow, eyebrow, eyebrow tutorial so I'm going in with a chocolate bar palette and the shade is salted caramel and this is a Morphe brush I absolutely love this brush and I'll link it down below because I'm not sure of the name but I managed to use this brush for the whole of my crease it's really really good it's got a tip it's got a tipped end so it like blends into the crease really really good especially for me because I've got small eyes so that's salted caramel in the crease there and then I'm gonna go in with milk chocolate I think yes milk chocolate with the same brush because I use the same brush for the whole of my crease and I'm just blending that so what I'm doing here is just taking lots of different shades of browns building the colour up as I go along so we're getting a little bit darker with each shade so starting off with a light colour and then going on to a darker colour etc you get the gist so yeah so just blending that through using a nice soft circular windscreen wiper motion then I'm going into this darker brown as I said and this is called semi sweet I believe and again I don't really need to explain myself you can see what I'm doing I'm just blending that through my crease
Okay, still blending. <laughs> this brush is just amazing, like I can't actually believe how well it blends. I like to give a smile every now and then just because my face looks so blank and morbid, so. Then I'm going in with, I think this one's called Triple Fudge. It's the darkest matte brown of the palette. By the way, they are all matte, completely matte browns. I'm just really fish, fishing, <laughs> finishing off the definition in that crease. Then I'm going in with Eye Candy Honey Drop Glitter MAC Fix Plus and a MAC 239 brush. So I just spray my brush with a little bit of MAC Fix Plus and then dip the brush into the loose glitter. And then I'm just packing that on really lightly onto the lid and just building it up as I go. Really light tapping motions, just really to you know seal the product. Then I'm taking the Morphe Brushes Slate Gel Liner and the Wing Liner Brush from Zoeva. I'm just going to line my lash line and then wing it out, as always. When you have tiny eyes like me, Wing Liner is your best friend. So we're just winging it out, from the, following on from the bottom lash line, and then just connecting it. Favourite brush, favourite gel eyeliner, love this brush. Then we're just tapering off the end. I say we, but it's just me. It's just me here today. <laughs> so that's my wing. Um, I did the other one off camera because it's just pretty much the same thing on the other eye. Then I'm taking the Benefit Roller Lash Mascara. Really good mascara for really long curled lashes. And then, off camera, I'm going to apply some lashes. The lashes are the Red Cherry WSPs, which stand for like Wispy. Then I'm going to focus on the lower lash line. And I'm taking just the shades that I used in the crease. Just, you know, replicating what I did on the top along the bottom. So I'm just blending the salted caramel shade along the bottom. Then going in with the next darker, the next darker, next darker, you, you get the gist. It just really defines the lower lash line and the defining the lower lash line just really ties everything together. It just makes everything complete, in my opinion. Then I'm going to take this Rimmel Scandalized Nude Liner and just line the lower waterline. And then I'm going to take MAC Nylon, as always, somewhere in the corner and just pop that bitch in the <laughs> corner <laughs> and then I'm going to take Bobbi Brown's Lash Glamour Lengthening Mascara which I love for my bottom lashes I love it for my top lashes too but it's really really good bottom lashes then I'm going to take Max Spice Lip Liner have you seen the size of this <laughs> I use this like every day though so you know it's not surprising it's getting really diddy but yeah I'm just going to line my lip line with spice and yes I do overdraw my lips because my lips are very small <laughs> so I like to make them look big then I'm using the NYX lingerie matte liquid lipsticks that are new and this is in the shade push up and I'm just popping that over the top and that is the end of the video this is the finished look I really really hope that you enjoyed it I hope that you liked this different style of video, it's a lot easier for me to film like this and it's a bit quicker, okay? <laughs> so if you like the video then give it a thumbs up, leave any comments for any other videos you want to see and please subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos from me. Goodbye!